Once you've verified the username and password used to sign into one file, log in through the portal and accept the end user license agreement. If you don't agree to this, you won't be able to use the system. You'll then be asked if you want to opt in or out of the one file user experience. The choice is entirely yours. Once you've selected the option, go to ePortfolio. This landing page will show you any important announcements that are being pushed to all users, either from OneFile directly or from the Institute ourselves. It's your choice whether you just continue through this or ask the system not to display those notifications again. You're then presented with the dashboard and exactly how this dashboard looks varies depending on whether you are a candidate, a trainer, or verifier. To change the colours and font for greater accessibility, click the drop down next to your name in the top right of the screen and choose Appearance. From here, you can select one of the inbuilt themes or Change the colours to something more appropriate by clicking into the swatch, choosing a different colour and then pressing enter to accept. You can change the font and its size or reset back to the default. All users within OneFile can push their calendars to an external application like Outlook. To do this, from the dashboard, click View Calendar and then click Subscribe to Calendar on the right hand side. Then click Generate URL. This will give you a link to copy into your external application. Guidance to do that should be sought elsewhere. The calendar integration only allows unidirectional communication from one file into the app that you choose. You cannot, for example, set up a meeting in Outlook and have that push into one file. To set your email preferences, on the top right underneath your name, click the drop down option and then choose the profile. From the Email Preferences tab, you have the option to add additional email addresses, should you so choose. And in the Email Alerts section, Ad Hoc Alerts will send you an email every time something happens. And this might have the unintended consequence of sending you lots of email. Instead, we recommend that you use the Daily Digest feature and have one file just schedule emails to you on days that suit your working pattern with the kinds of information that you want it to alert you to. Trainers and verifiers, but not candidates, also have the option to receive completion alerts. Once you've set the preferences as you choose, press save and that's stored.